it's morning for storybooks. So you come in, you, we go back into our room and we get our all of our books. There's two crates, two big crates of books that we pull into these prisons. Get all of our CDs and we get our recording equipment and we head off to the prisons. The inmate will sit down and we give them a Sharpie. Um, we'll let them write like a little salutation in the front of the book. And we, we let them say a little something before the book and we let them say a little something after the book and we put it in an envelope and we mail it to the child. It's really interesting because some of your first timers, you've got to stop this machine two or three times because they get so emotional. This microphone is, is in a weird way. It's so connecting them with their child, the sound of that voice, but then they know that their child is gonna be getting this CD. We then will ask the inmate if they would like to pray with us. I'd say most of the time, they'll say yes, absolutely. And then um, we sit down, the two of us will pray. And the amount of times that when we're done praying and the inmate will open their eyes and just be like, because you, they've never heard the word. And they've never, and they're almost, they'll, they'll say, that, that was beautiful. And one of the women said to me, my seven-year-old daughter has taken this book to school with her every day. And every time someone comes over, she sticks the CD into the CD player and plays it. And is so proud that her mom, this is something my mom sent me. And because they were so close before she was incarcerated. So people have been incarcerated for drug addiction their family was lucky enough to receive a book with a recording, you know, they ended up passing away. And then we'll get letters from family saying, having our family member's voice recorded forever ingrained on this CD is just, you know, it's priceless. I mean, that's huge. That's huge that, that the congregation uh, with the donation of the money for the postage. I mean, when, when inmates come in and they'll say, so wait a second so the book is for free and we'll be like yeah and they'll be like well and that and the bookmark's free we'll be like yeah and they'll be like but it's and it's free to mail it we'll be like yeah and they'll be like really and they're just they're yeah they're dumbfounded so yes the the money that people donate that's huge the cross yeah it takes a it takes a whole the whole congregation to make this happen so yes even though there's only a few people going into the prisons it has taken hundreds of people to make this work.